Use a graph to find a number delta that corresponds to epsilon equal 0.2 for the function f of x equals x cubed minus 5x plus 6 with a equal 1 and l equal 2. If we're looking along, um, we're interested in where a equal 1 and l equals 2. We're interested in epsilon of 0.2 so we can look at anything that is 0.2 above or 0.2 below there and then we would need to find the function on a graph and find the corresponding delta so we um, are guaranteed if our x is within delta of a that our function value is, is, is within epsilon of 2. So there's lots of different graphing technologies available. I'm going to use a graphing calculator. There are a lot of graphing calculators available online. There's also a lot of other programs online that can do graphs. And so we'll just go ahead and put in this function in and graph it. And we can see that it is an x cubed. So we'd expect the graph to look something like this. Now, because we're interested in values around x equal 1 and y equal 2, let's go ahead and set our window. For our x values, let's go 0.2 below. So we'll do 0.8 and 0.2 above. So we'll do 1.2. And since we're going as far as epsilon is 0.2 above and below, let's go a tenth above and below that. Um, let's go by tenths for our scale. So we'll put 0.1. And we will look from 1.7, which is 0.3 below our L, to 2.3. So that'll give us little bit of a you know outside of our window of where we're looking so here is zooming in on that part of the graph because we're looking at an epsilon of 0.2 above or 0.2 below let's go ahead and add those lines um, 0.2 above would be a line at 2.2 and 0.2 below if if l equals 2 would be a line at 1.8 so let's go ahead and add those to our graph and then we can see um, what's going on here and maybe I'll put that on this picture so it's something like this. So what we're interested in is finding these values so that we stay within epsilon of our limit. So we need to find out what the x value is here and what the x value is right here. So I'm going to use the calculator and do that. I hit the second calc and I'm going to pick 5 which is the intersection and then I'm just going to arrow along and, and you have to um, get that little cursor flashing at the point of intersection for each curve and it's going to compute that. So it says when the y is 2.2 that intersection is 0.9114 Four. So we'll round that to two decimal places, so 0.91. Now we're going to do the same thing to find our value over here on the right side of 1. So I'm going to do second calc again and pick intersect. And now I've got to arrow down to my other point of intersection. And we're almost there. Okay, I push enter. Now it's flashing up on the other curve, so I've got to hit the down arrow to get it flashing on the lower curve for the second curve. And it looks like when the y is 1.8, it's about 1.124, so we'll round that to 1.12. So this is about 1.12. So as long as our x is in between 0.91 and 1.12, we know that um, our function value will be within epsilon, of, so be within 0.2 of our L, which is 2 here. This is not a symmetric interval about A equal 1. Um, distance away from 1, this is about 0.09, and this is 0.12, and so I would need to pick the smallest of those for my delta if I want a symmetric interval. So if I let my delta be 0.09, uh, then I could go as low as this and I could go up here by 0.09 and I'm guaranteed to be within epsilon of L.